Hello friends, it's John Pio here and it's the day before Thanksgiving here in the United States and what better way to celebrate Thanksgiving by doing some retro gaming. So I was uh, out shopping with the missus yesterday for some Christmas stuff and we were in a Target and we saw that they had the Atari Flashback 4. Now I've seen the Atari Flashback many times, uh, never opted to pick one up but I decided to pick one up this time because it was the uh, Let's see, looking at the box here, they're calling it the special edition version. It's like, oh, special edition. So uh, I'm going to unbox it and take a look at it with you and tell you what's different about uh, this one as opposed to all the other ones as uh, I enjoy the lake behind me there. Uh -huh. All right, so let's take a look at the sucker. Okay, so I'm going to do a very shaky filming here. So excuse that. This isn't usually the high quality that I strive for. But I wanted to show you uh, what this is all about. This is the um, obviously the flashback special edition version, and what's so special is that it now has wireless controllers instead of being wired. I don't know what took them so long to do that, but evidently it took four iterations, and it has 76 games as opposed to I believe 60, which was the uh, the three. Now this this system's been out a year at least. Um, I guess it's uh, the holiday times coming up and obviously it's a good time to put out these things. So I know this is not truly a review so to sp speak because it's, uh, it's a year late. But then again, I'm always late. So Millipede is a bonus game which is pretty cool. So let's take a look. Some of the box has to offer. So here's the side art. Let's get a zoom on that. So, uh, aha. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, obviously, they kept controllers uh, looking very classic. They look pretty darn good. Uh, the system itself, uh, you can see it doesn't have any toggle switches. Um, but it's kind of neat. It looks like it has a 9-pin in the front for the controllers. Now, I haven't opened this. I don't actually know what the heck those are used for. It just may be just for show because um, the 9-pin controllers used to be in the rear. And being that these are wireless, you wouldn't need the 9-pin. I do see that it has a RF uh, radio frequency receiver there, which I would imagine it would be uh, infrared, infrared receiver, I should say, infrared for these. So let's take a look and open it up. Okay. Uh, so, hey, look at that. So the special edition comes with a rather large poster. And I must say... Now I'm going to rip it in the breeze. Okay. Wow. That's pretty slick. That is pretty slick. Centipede. Classic. One of the most uh, iconic early Atari games. It was a huge hit with the ladies. Ladies love to play Centipede. Um, maybe only followed up by Ms. Pac-Man. The quality of this paper feels really nice and thick. It, it actually probably wouldn't rip, so I can see it's 80, 2013. Atari logo, yada, 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 Atari Interactive. Okay, so okay, so here's the actual setup. Nice. We've got an uh, uh, instruction booklet. Huh. Number seven. Seven. Left controller port. I am curious to know if that actually works. What's up with that? All right. So the book looks really in depth. Oh, okay. So it's telling you each game. Oh, that's pretty cool. It tells you each game that's on the system, a little bit about it, and what to do and how to play it. So it, it's pretty thick. Uh, the the back is and the back and the front is a, a, a glossy paper, and the inside is a more standard printer paper. No color in there, which is fine, I guess. Boy, this is tiny. Wow, what an illusion the box gave. I mean, obviously, there's no need to be a big console, if you want to even call this a console, uh, you know, like a heavy six or fake wood grain. All they have is a sticker. Ugh, I remember the wood grain, man. Okay. Okay, so let's see if we can actually see what these buttons are. I would assume... Yeah, okay, it's very hard to see, but... Uh, this is labeled power. Right, I think we can see it there. Power. Um, start. Let's see. There we go. Start. Power. Interesting. 
uh, left right controllers oh excuse me that's difficulty up top there it is difficulty left right huh and select okay so that is pretty interesting let's see what the back says sorry flashback four manufacture date uh, China uh, compiles with okay got the Atari logo every which way on it Trying to be pretty faithful, I guess. Uh, in the back, you've got just two RCA jacks. Uh, you've got a stereo, which is generally the yellow, and the video. No, video is yellow, and what? Sound is the white. It's not in stereo, it's mono. And here's the power supply. Uh, let's see. Uh, made for America. America, America. Okay. Alright, let's take a look at these controllers. Let's see, how do they feel? Feel very light very light but but authentic the button actually feels authentic it has just the right spring and the originals did have a spring I would imagine this actually kicks pretty strong I don't think there's a spring in here like there was in the original there may be some kind of leaf leaf switch because that is a nice strong kick much more akin to an arcade game, and I do know my arcade games, than a nice soft spring comeback. All right, so you got the top. I um, always thought that was interesting that they had to say top when the button kind of indicated that. And the Atari logo they put here. There's a, a light here. I'd assume that's the power. There is the infrared transmitter. Uh, and there's an on-off button. And this is where the batteries go. I believe it's two AA batteries per controller, which would give it a bit more weight, which would make it very on par. Probably it's a slightly bit lighter than the original. And that fits kind of nice in there. The box is actually really well constructed. I can imagine uh, this shipping and uh, experiencing very little in the way of damage. It's pretty good. All right. Wow. So, looking forward to this. Let's uh, let's see what uh, what games actually came installed with this. I didn't mention that. I did mention that 60. You know what? It's hard to do this. I did mention 60 games were in the um, Flashback 3. This is now the Flashback 4 with 75 games. And if I flip this box over, oh, it's so heavy. We'll see what's on it. Okay, so here we go. And these are alphabetical. Okay, so uh, obviously Adventure, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, Adventure 2, which was not an official Atari game. I believe that was a homebrew game that was then uh, adopted. Cool. Air Sea Battle, Aqua Venture. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Asteroids. I used to love that game. I used to flip it all the time. Battle Zone, Blackjack, Bowling, Breakout, Canyon Bomber, and Centipede. They boast in the beginning. Soccer, Circus Atari, long history there. Combat, the original game that came. Combat 2, another homebrew port. Crystal Castles, an arcade version. Uh, Demons to Diamonds. Never really cared too much for Demons to Diamonds. I used to like Demon Attack, and when I was a kid I used to get them confused. Desert Falcon, Dodge em, Double Dunk, Fatal Run, Flag Capture, okay, Football, Frog Pond. I used to enjoy Frog Pond. That was a fun game. Again, another arcade game translated to Atari. Uh, basic Math. We don't want that. Gravatar. Hangman. Haunted House. Excellent. Excellent game. Home Run. Human Cannonball. Now, the dude from Human Cannonball looks remarkably like the dude from Jungle Hunt. They're sporting the same mustache. Okay, that's obviously just a coincidence. Now, I used to love the original old-time uh, illustrations that used to accompany these uh, original Atari cartridges, especially from the early... Uh, 80s, late 70s, and these were the greatest 
Night Driver. Another port from the arcades. Off the Wall. Not familiar with Off the Wall. And, uh, strange. We'll have to check that one out. Outlaw. Another port. Polaris. Huh. Pong. Uh, the real sports line. They they were really striving to compete against the Intellivision sports. So they uh, they pushed hard to get as much realism as they could, and that was their real sports line. I used to like real sports tennis. I don't see it here. Volleyball though. Return to haunted house. Sweet, sweet. Can't wait to try this sucker. Okay, saboteur. Save Mary. Save Mary is uh, one of those uh, one of those games that you uh, you didn't get a chance to play when this came out but it's a very very ingenious game uh, I'm gonna look forward to playing that skydiver slot machine slot racers now if you've noticed most of these are they're all Atari games obviously there's no Activision titles in here for good reason Activision is very active with their proprietary stuff. I don't think they'd want to just distribute them here. Starship. Steeplechase. Okay, cool. Stellar Track. Street Racer. Submarine Commander. Pretty cool. Ah, the old Sword Quest line. They give you Earth World and Fire World. Only two. There was supposed to be four of them. Tempest is a quite a quite a story with the sword quest. That was supposed to be the savior of the Atari lines. A little too ambitious, maybe. Okay, and the last lineup we've got here is uh, checkers, chess, pinball, video pinball. This is really a great game. Video pinball. I used to play hours and hours with my dad. And Warlords, excellent game. I used to always think that uh, a lot of these illustrations, I don't know, like Warlords, I don't know, does that look like Nolan Bushnell to you? Uh, I used to always think it was, I don't know. There's a couple of games where the character on the box kind of looks like Nolan. Wizard, Wizard, and Yar's Revenge, Yar's Revenge, Fly gets stuck into a spaceship, goes into space, Thousands and millions of years later, it becomes a race of insectoids. Yeah, it came with a comic book. Pretty neat story. I used to like this cover, too. Yar's Revenge. Mm, Yar's Revenge was named after Ray Kazar, I think his name was. That was the uh, Warner Brothers uh, head of Atari back then, who was a tyrant. And uh, I believe uh, the Yar was just Ray spelled backwards. All right. Nice packaging. So, let's uh, zoom in there. This is how I'm going to spend my Thanksgiving. How are you going to spend your Thanksgiving? All right, it's John Peel saying take care, brothers. Bye-bye.